Let me move. Gravity gun has been altered. So this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I have nothing if not pragmatic. Okay, sure. Still can't go through those. Nope, you can pick them up while they're still alive. That's new. And their guns just magically vanish when they die. I take it they were very, very proud of their gun. And they absolutely wanted to make sure you used it. Freeman, under other circumstances, I like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. No. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator. to blame, of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm you planted when you were young and gone, but while the 
I certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles. It is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. They even managed to f up the... Look how overpowered you are section of the game. They even managed to make this feel like crap. What the f*** are we even waiting for? Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. It's not all about creation. Sometimes you just gotta make the world burn a little.
create the foundation for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than... I guess you can't affect that thing because of course why the f would you be you're like a god except for the for, for except against this guy I'm just stupid, I guess. I don't understand. What does it want me to do here? I swear, if I die again on this, I'm going to... We're either going to quit or I'm going to figure out how to enter a god mode so that we can't f die. Because I'm so tired of this game. I've been playing this game for days after I've already wanted to stop. I just need this game to be over with. I am going to have a mental breakdown if I don't stop this game. So that's what's going to happen. If I die again on this, sh we're going to try to figure out how to enter a God mode. If we can't do that, f it, this game's over. I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival. worth it? I don't know. You want me to get into one of those again? I mean, I guess I don't have a choice, do I?
I'll take him from here. Don't struggle. It's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Carbon stars with ancient satellites colonized by sentient fungi. Gas giants inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide, indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You are more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? <sighs> Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. <sighs> don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, shoot her. Oh! Judith? What do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry. Dad, hang on. You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Dad! No, 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 don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come We're on, supposed Cody. to trust her because Let's at the last me, second she stopped being evil and became good? At the last second? No, this should I'm be not dead. You again, Eli. Whatever. The game doesn't work that way, obviously. Come on, Gordon. We haven't known each other very long, but... No, we haven't. I don't like you that way. I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... 
Well, thanks for coming after me. I didn't. It's me you should be concerned about. Listen. I can still deliver That's him, but not without your help. The portal destination is untenable. Surely you can set the relay elsewhere. There's no way I can survive in that environment. The host body must be choking. I can't possibly. Yes. All right, damn it. That's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. Oh, shit. Not again. <sighs> the gravity gun. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue, does he? I guess not. I wonder where he's going. I don't really give a fuck where he's going. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. <sighs> I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Of course I will. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge your suit. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. It's Dr. Freeman. There he is. Dr. Dr. Freeman, Freeman, you really, really shouldn't, shouldn't be out there. there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve, apart from your own annihilation. Where did they come from? I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve, apart from your own annihilation. Don't listen to him, Gordon. I warned you this was futile. Dr. No. <sighs> mm. Go, on, Gordon. Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. 
If only you had harnessed your boundless energy for a useless purpose. Okay, the portal's opening. Great. That's that's fantastic. Now what? I hope you said your farewells. What is it? What? Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Thank God it's over. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Baby Jesus. Thank you. The game is finally done. I hope you enjoyed Half-Life 2 The End Is Nigh. I certainly have not enjoyed it, but hopefully my suffering amuses you. There will be celebrations across all realities and dimensions of the multiverse. This hateful game is finally done. Remember to boop the like button before you go, and I'll see you in the next one. Dashpot out.